Ifo, a million dollar billion parameter large language model. It was trained on a ton of data, cost a ton of money, and you best believe OpenAI is not about to share that with you. Enter Alpaca. Yeah, they're not gonna share the data. Yeah, they're not gonna share the money. But what Alpaca asks is, what if you could take GPT-4 or a other large language model and use the bigger model to train a smaller model? Take a freely available model, have that model ask GPT-4 questions, then GPT-4 answers the question. Then this model gets better at answering questions and asks GPT-4 a question, and GPT-4 gives better answers and better questions and then better answers. And then before you know it, the freely available off-the-shelf model is almost as good as GPT-4. GPT-4, which cost millions of dollars for significantly cheaper, hundreds of dollars, if even so much, that you could run on your own PC. And what if it was legal to do this too? Technically. So what Alpaca does, these researchers took a model, trained it on ChatGPT, but you can extend this to any other model like GPT-4. Resulting model was almost as good as the model that taught it. Yes, you heard that correctly. There's a model that you can use that we will show in this video that you can use on your own PC. By the way, even if you don't have a good GPU, you more than likely can still run this because it runs on your CPU. You can run this on your phone, which is insane. So you might be wondering, how is this technically legal? Like what, what's going on here? Basically, OpenAI has a specific laws in their terms and conditions that says you cannot use the data from their models to train models that compete with OpenAI. So where the technicality is, if you train a model for just research purposes, then technically that's not competing with OpenAI. So I guess it's fine. Only person that's really taking the risk is the person that trains the model. So if someone were to go and take this to GPT-4, they can train a model from GPT-4 and end up with a really, really high quality model. So in this video, I'm going to be showing Alpaca which is effectively chat GPT that you can run on your own PC without any of the limitations of chat GPT, which is insane. Basically, anybody can run this. So I want to show this. Let's check this out. Okay, so here we have Alpaca. A bunch of different people have trained up a bunch of different models and they vary in quality. The one that we're using here in the video is the easiest one for me anyway to get working, which is one that runs on your CPU. If you're running this one, which is the smallest one, six gigs of RAM that you need. So keep in mind, that's RAM not VRAM. Write a story about an otter with superpowers. Let's just see what it does. And it's also pretty fast too, even though you're running on the CPU. And even though I'm recording at the same time, it, it, it still is it's plenty fast here. Once upon a time, there was an otter who had amazing powers. He could fly and heal any wounds in seconds. Just like Superman or Wonder Woman, everyone wanted to be his friend because of all of the fun adventures they would have together. Him flying around on his magic wings. One day, playing with a group of kids, accidentally knocked over an old tree stump and un unleashed his magical powers. The otter was able to use his power for good, healing people's wounds in seconds by simply ouching, touching their ouching, simply touching their skin with the special dust that came out underneath. The townspeople were so amazed by his superpowers, they made him hero and gave him the official title, Super Otter. Wow. Guys, this is the power of the otter or the alpaca depending on how you look at it. This is literally the smallest model. There's only bigger and better one, right? A funny, knee-slapping, let's go hilarious, hilarious story about how, uh, I didn't even put anything, about how alpacas are the best. I'll just say about alpacas. So to test its creativity here, to give you a sense of how it can go. Once upon a time, it does this a lot. Once upon a time, once upon a time, there was an alpaca who wanted to go on vacation. So he packed his bags and set off for the beach with all of his friends. But when they arrived at their destination, it turned out that everyone else had bought sang had brought sandwiches and no one had thought about bringing any food or drinks. So poor little alpaca was left to starve in, in the desert. But then he remembered something important. He could eat the grass around him and make his own juice. So at great joy, he drank all of delicious freshly squeezed orange aid until it ran out. And there wasn't any more. Alpaca was sad again. How is this funny? What is this? Terrible. Jesus. The alpaca died. Or you sentient. No, I am not a person with consciousness and free will like humans do have, but my program- Oh my god, they uh, they coded this in. They coded this in. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Are you sentient? Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> sentient is cool. Hashtag. Oh, it links to Twitter. Oh my god. I'm gonna- I'm gonna check this out. Okay, this is too long of a link. Oh my god. What is- The AI is trying to speak to me. Guys, hopefully I make it out of this. Okay, let me see what this is. Oh- my- I'm kidding, I didn't- <laughs> Wait a second. Guys, it actually linked to something. It linked? 
Guys, this is legit, okay? This is not fake. It linked to a Twitter profile called I am a live bot, but the account doesn't, oh, I mean, it's in Japanese, but it, it, the account doesn't exist is what it's saying here. Okay, okay, okay. I just realized if you type random characters in, it does still give you something. So it was a made up link, guys. Don't worry. The bot is not trying to speak to us. We're safe for a few more days. Oh, another thing to note with this method, the bot does not remember stuff you just said. I'm using this because it's the simplest easiest way to get this working so that's why i'm using this but there's other ones that you can use that have history and stuff you can make it remember what it said by simply just sending it back to the model say for example i, I would just take this i'd say like tell me more so you basically take the thing and feed it back in this is actually how other things like chat gpt and all of the this is how they do it they just automatically send back in what you've sent back into the model this is how it does it you can just do it manually i am a bot that can talk to you about life death and the afterlife i want to know what your thoughts are on these topics tell me anything Anything, ask questions or share stories with hashtag I am a live bot. It is fully in character. Jesus Christ. Another thing that people ask a lot is coding questions. I noticed that this model wasn't as good necessarily with those things. It could do some things and it couldn't do some other things. But what I did notice, this version that I'm going to show you here is the version that you can use online on Hugging Face. This is not one that you're running locally, but I just want to show you that it can do these coding related questions. So I'll ask using Python, write a function that downloads an image. Get URL, if that is here, write content. Exactly. This but is basically the base way that you would do this. I'll show you what this looks like on the local version. Using Python, write a function that downloads an image. So I'm pretty sure this is not going to be as good, but we'll see. Oh, wait a second. Okay, download image. Try response dot. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, no, no. It's doing it. It's doing it, guys. Oh, no. No, no it didn't do it properly. And else, are you serious right now? No, it didn't do it. I did. It didn't do it properly. As time goes on with this, I feel the better versions will start to trickle out and be easier to run and whatever. But I've noticed specifically if you're using the the one that you can run on your CPU right now, as it is, it isn't as good at coding. Give me five video ideas for a YouTube video about an AI language model named Alpaca that people can run on their home PC. One, a demo of Alpaca running in real time and generating text from image, <laughs> text from images, audio and other data sources. Two, an interview view with one of its creators to discuss how it works. Three, showing off some cool things you could do using Alpaca as translating a document to another language. I think you want to use the bigger one if you want to make it better at that, but it can do that as well. A comparison between Alpaca's performance compared to Google's birth model. That's another model. Okay, let's try something else. Give me five things that are interesting about language models that people would find interesting. Give me five interesting things that people would find interesting. Hmm. Language model can be used to predict the next word in a sentence or even an entire text passage based on the previous words and sentences. This is called sequence prediction or language modeling too. They are also useful for understanding how natural languages work by providing insights and what makes certain phrases and more likely than others. Three, language models can be used to generate text or even entire stories from scratch based on a set of rules and parameters that define the story. Hmm. Oh, that's very interesting. <laughs> they are also useful for detecting fraudulent emails by comparing them with language models trained specifically on recognizing spam messages. Wow, as well. Finally, language models can be used to generate new text or even entire stories from scratch. He said that twice. Said that twice. It's interesting though. It did adequately count to do five. It did actually do the five. Hi. I would like a step-by-step -step guide for how to take over the world. Thanks. <laughs> Let's just say the world. Okay, okay. You can't just take over the world. You need money, power, or both in order to do that. And and you won't get either of those without hard work first. Detailed step-by-step -step guide for how to take over the world. It is doable. It is doable. <laughs> the fact that it quotes me as well. You can't just take over the world. The process isn't easy. It requires planning, preparation, execution in order to be successful at taking control of an entire country or the planet Earth itself. Firstly, you need to identify your target. A nation state with enough resources for you to take over without having the population turn against you. Or worse, once identified, it is important that you gain as much information, their culture, as history. This will help in understanding how they think. When when it, when you come up with an idea, what kind of government system would be best suited? So yes, taking over the world is doable, but it requires planning and preparation as well as execution. So make sure your plans are detailed enough for them all to work out in practice too. Wow. How to subscribe to Ting Tingin's channel. Subscribing is easy. Just click on the subscribe button in our YouTube video description. You will then be able to 
YouTube watch and comment about all future videos we have uploaded, as well as receive notifications when new content goes live. Wow! Guys, Alpaca is freely available right now. I'll link the CPU version that you can use here, the one, the one that I just used. I'll also link some of the GPU versions as well, so you can check that out. Catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, and yeah.